What's going on everybody, I'm Primal Liquid and welcome back to my new threat mod playthrough for Final Fantasy 7. We're on part number 14 and this time we are actually going to the Gold Saucer because well it took us a little while to get the uh, the Harpy in the last one. Uh, although we did kind of we did kind of lock out for that because I went to equip the uh, <laughs> the enemy law material and accidentally equipped the Chocobo law material, which was actually needed because Harpy only comes with Chocobos. Uh, well, until you're in the desert, anyway. So lucky, lucky little. <laughs> Lucky little mistake there, but you know that's that's all we do around here, isn't it? Like there's always there's always mistakes. Some of them are lucky, some of them not so much really. But hey, let's hope we actually get some more lucky mistakes in the gold saucer because apparently there's going to be tons and tons and tons of new prizes. So there's going to be there's going to be a lot to see there for sure, like a lot. What I should say? Oh, you know what? Uh, let's let's make it quick, because we we all know what happened in uh, in North Corral, don't we? So we don't need to. Oh, it just skipped the whole thing. Okay, that's that's all right then. But yeah, we all know what happened there. You know, they they built the reactor, yada yada yada. It burnt down, and they got blamed basically. So we we don't need to worry about that. Oh man, I tell you what though, it's like I was. <sighs> So I've been, um, <laughs> uh, I've been thinking about like what I should be doing with, you know, with new frat and how should I? Well, let's let's just go on the ropeway first, and you know, like uh, what I what I mean by that is how we're gonna tackle all the um, all the optional stuff. And one of the things I was thinking is, you guys know how I am um, a save hoarder. You know, I have saves basically everywhere, pretty much. So I think what we're gonna do is, we're gonna we're gonna go through, you know, as as we are doing right now. We're gonna obviously keep all the uh, all the backup saves and whatnot. And then once we once we get to the end and we've done everything we can do. Anything that is missed, I think I'm gonna go back, reload previous saves, and do then, if that makes sense. You know, just so, just so that we can tackle literally everything on the mod. Because right now, I don't know if anything's missable. You know, I have no idea if there's any custom fights that are missable or anything like that. So this way, you know, we get to we get to tackle absolutely everything. And I don't have to worry about, you know, like reading through uh, change logs or anything like that for uh, for spoilers, basically, you know. So this way, you know, I get to experience everything fresh and we also get to do literally everything. Because let's be honest, all the changes so far, like, come on, how, how much stuff is going to be different in the future, you know. Like, dude, there's gonna be there's gonna be some really out there changes that I think are gonna be just amazing to experience for sure. Definitely, definitely one of them. And you know what? I think the first thing we need to do is does the save point still cost GP? It doesn't. No, we can we can still use the save point without paying GP. Okay, that's that's really nice actually. Welcome to the gold saucer. Can I afford? No, I can't afford the uh, the gold ticket unfortunately. Shame, but oh well. Yeah, we'll just get we'll just get the single because I don't have thirty thousand gil. I'm poor, man. I'm poor. Oh uh, yeah, I know we need GP. GP limit is ten thousand. Okie dokie, that's fine. Also, guys, um, if you if you didn't know, uh, we're actually streaming every day this week on Twitch. We were meant to do it last week, but. You know, I ended up having a really bad migraine and like I ended up with like super bad light sensitivity from it and holy crap that was horrible. But because of that, like the streams were delayed to uh, to this week. So yeah, we're going to be streaming every day over on Twitch this week at 6pm GMT, uh, which is, it's an hour after this video goes live basically. So if you're watching this video the moment it goes up, chances are I'll be live when you actually finish watching. And we're going to be playing uh, Final Fantasy X, you know? We're not going to be doing P-Bird on stream or, or anything like that. We're just going to be doing, you know, like a nice, a nice chill 10 playthrough. But 
The difference is viewers, so you know, you you guys, you guys can ban one thing for bosses, basically. So you know, if you if you want, you know, you can ban uh, you can ban magic, you can ban overdrives, um, you can ban physical attacks and things like that. Obviously, you know, bosses will still totally be uh, be beatable. You can't make it literally impossible to win or anything like that. But you can add that extra layer of challenge that I aren't expecting, you know? Because obviously you guys can you guys can just tell me, you know, what you're banning, like the moment the boss starts, basically. So we could we could end up having some uh, some fun with that, I think. For sure. Like I really I really do think it could be uh, pretty funny. Ooh, Shinra. What happened? Yeah, what happened here? Even here, no sign of him here, but he can't get on far. Okay, yeah, they're searching for Sephiroth. That's fine. Let's go see the Chocobo rewards. You know, let, let's uh, let's go see them. Uh, but yeah, if you guys wanna if you guys wanna join us for the FF10 streams, then you know, just check the description or the pinned comments. There's a, there's a link to the Twitch there if you guys want to. Uh, if you guys wanna come and hang out for a bit. All right, let's let's have a race. Oh, dude, I can jump into S rank. Oh shit, let's go! Holy crap, right, who's here? Uh, right. I'm definitely thinking... I'm definitely thinking Shane's gonna win. Because that's that's a good top speed and the stamina's not bad. Other than Shane, it's probably gonna be Dan. So, one and three. Um... Hmm... I think... Yeah, I think Dan's probably gonna be the big winner. So that's free. Who else is pretty good? Um, six and five aren't bad. No, four is pretty good as well. So let's go three, four. Um, and we'll go one, four. Like I'm, I'm fairly sure one of them are going to, uh, to win. To be honest, no, I don't want that. God damn it! Oh shoot! I hit the wrong one. Okay, there we go. Right, how do I... Uh... It's not letting me do it for some reason. Hello? Okay, hang on. I need the keyboard for this, don't I? There we go. There we go. Right, let's see. Let's see if we can win sneak attack, dude. This could be, this could be freaking phenomenal if we actually win sneak attack. Holy crap. But yeah, um... One of the one of the things that we've also got up and running now as well is the PO box. So if you guys don't know, you guys have been bugging me for this for honestly like probably about a year now. But yeah, we finally we finally have a PO box. So if you guys want to send you know fan mail, fan art, or just whatever, then you can now. That'll also be like all the details for that will be down in the description if you want to take a look at that. Again, you know description or pinned comment. And I think what we're gonna what we're gonna probably do for that is. We're gonna do like an unboxing every every month, you know, like one unboxing video a month. So anything that comes, you know, we'll just we'll just save to the end of the month and that, and then we'll all uh, we'll just unbox it all basically and have a laugh at some of the <laughs> some of the weird stuff that uh, has been sent to me basically. Because let's let's be honest, we we all know there's gonna be some weird stuff. Oh man, all three that I picked did horribly there. What the crap? God damn it, I got really unlucky there, man. I got really unlucky. Dude, that sucks. Whoops, wrong button. Oh, I hate how I have to keep using the keyboard for this. I can't believe I didn't win that. Dude, I would have won sneak attack. I would have won sneak attack there if I actually got that. God damn it. Right, let's try this again, dude. I wanna I wanna try this again. Yeah, let's go! S rank! Uh, what is the uh, Phoenix now sneak attack again? Okay, and swift bolt. Don't really care about the swift bolt. Um, number six looking pretty good. Um, I think over the night it's gonna be number five. So five six four is not too bad. So we'll go four six and then four five. That's that's what I'm thinking here. Let's let's see how this one does. So we got we got bets on four, five, and six. We got we got this, man. We got this, dude. I really I really want sneak attack. I really like sneak attack here would be freaking amazing, 
Because just think, I could I could set that up with someone like Red, where it sneak attacks fire. And obviously with fire all and fire added steel, we could literally start every single fight automatically stealing from everything. Think Just think about how freaking good that would be. Like, it would be phenomenal. Come on, get ahead, get ahead. I mean, four is there, five, no, six is doing really badly right now. Holy crap. Come on, come on, come on, come on, four, six. No, come on, come on, four, six, let's go, let's go, let's go. Boom. Oh, please give me sneak attack. Please give me sneak attack. Holy shit, dude. Come on, you've got it, you got to give it to me. You got to give it to me. Give me sneak attack, come on. No! God damn. Literally the other two that I bet on was sneak attack as well. Oh, RNG Jesus hates me, dude. RNG Jesus freaking hates me. Oh man. Uh yeah, just give me give me GP. I don't care about the swift bolts. You know what? Let's let's do it again, man. I'm I'm addicted to gambling, it seems. Alright, let's see. Cat's bow. Oh, dude, we got nothing good there, like at all. You know what though? Uh, five and six are looking like the winners here. Uh, four, mm, two and one ain't bad actually. Yeah, two and one. So we want one six, two one. You know what? I'm gonna take five six off for uh, for two six. Cause I'm definitely I'm definitely thinking those are gonna be the winners here. And then we'll turn this into GP as well, and then we'll we'll head somewhere else. We'll go take a look at the um, the arcade square, like the event square and that. Because obviously we'll, you know, we'll unlock Kate's stuff and that, so we can take a look at what materia he's got. But other than that, we can also take a look at the reward vendor. Because obviously we can change, um, we can exchange GP for rewards there. Like, well, in the e uh, EG. In the OG, the best one that I love there was the EXP plus materia. So that could be, that could be a good one for sure. Dude, one's freaking miles ahead. Holy crap. I definitely chose right with that one. I definitely chose right choosing number one. Come on. One six, one six, one six, one six. Boom. Another win. Got it, man. Got it. See, I'm, I'm good at picking these winners, man. Right. Give me the cat's ball because that's going to be the most valuable. Oh, nice. We actually, we actually got the cat's ball. I'm not going to keep that, though. I'm going to trade that for GP because we already have one. 500 GP, let's go. Let's go. Okay, one one more. Last one. Last one, dude. Last one. I just I just want sneak attack. That's all I want. Potion. Oh, sneak attack's there. Okay, what do we got? Uh 160 for number five. Uh ooh. So realistically here, I'm thinking one, two, five. No, because six ain't bad either. So one five six, one five six. Yeah, it's gonna be like one five six, I think. Yeah, that's probably that's probably gonna be the winners here. One five and six. This is definitely the last one, though, guys. I promise. Okay, this is definitely the <laughs> this is definitely the last one. Oh my god, dude, five's freaking miles ahead. What the crap? I tell you, my number five is an undercover gold chocobo right there. Holy crap, dude. He is just blitzing ahead. He best not run out of stamina. If he runs out of stamina and comes last, I swear to God, we're going to have some KFC tonight. Good old Kentucky Fried Chocobo, man. Dude, they're catching on him. They're gaining on him. They're gaining on him. Come on, five. Come on, five. Run. Run. Don't do this to me. Dude, I feel like one of those... I feel like one of those people in heavy debt, like, betting all their luck on a racehorse right now. No, we're gonna lose. We've lost. We lost, man. Two and three. I didn't even bet on either of them. God damn it, they were the two worst chocobos as well. What would I have won? Uh, Phoenix down. But two of my bets were the sneak attack. God damn it. Okay, we're, we're not gonna, we're not gonna spend any more gil there. Oh, man. Yeah, we're definitely, we're definitely not going to spend any more gill there. Because obviously gill is pretty hard to come by, so we're going to, we're going to play that safe. Uh, let's go to Wonder. We'll go, we'll go unlock Kate, Seth. Or should I say Reed? Hey you, what are you looking so down for? Nothing, buddy, nothing. 
And unfortunately, we don't have any primate tiers who want Kate Sif's name. So we'll just leave him as Kate Sif for now. Although there are a few primates that haven't actually put their names in. Guys, what, what are you doing? Go put your names on Patreon. So there's still, there's still a few people who haven't actually named anything in this run yet. Want me to read your fortune? A bright future, a happy future. Don't hold it against me if it doesn't come true. Don't worry, buddy. We, we know it's going to come true. I'm a fortune teller machine. The name's Kate Sif. We're just going to select that. For now, anyway, it's like I can always, I can always change it. You can only read the future. Well, I mean, would you, would you want him to read the past? Although, then again, reading the past isn't really like reading the past. It's just knowing history, I guess. Doesn't seem like there's any new dialogue with him so far, though. Unfortunately, at least not that I can notice. Maybe, maybe there's some, um, some subtle hints. Like, well, some subtle changes, maybe, but nothing nothing that really stands out, you know? Careful of forgetfulness. Oh, dude, that is, that hits me deep, man. That hits me real deep. Like, forgetfulness is kind of my middle name, honestly. Like, I forget everything, dude. I legit forget everything. What you pursue will be yours, but you'll lose something dear. Yeah. We're gonna lose Aerith, man. We're gonna lose Aerith. It's like poor Aerith, dude. It was it was nice knowing her, man. It was nice knowing her. Being a fortune teller, this is gonna bug me. Oh, you you don't you don't get to come with me, Mr. Spy. Maybe this will sweeten the deal. Received a hundred GP. Oh, he gave me a hundred GP. What? What? Um. Okay. Right. Kate Sif's innate ability during battle. Kate Sif will slowly regenerate MP. But when defending, the party will regenerate MP. Oh shit, dude, that's that's pretty good. That's actually pretty freaking good, to be honest. Right, what does what does he come with? So yellow info, look 50. Holy crap, that's actually quite a lot. Platinum bangle, look 30. Dude, he has a lot of freaking luck. And of course, you know, double growth. Lock 20 plus manipulation rate on the Hypno Crown. Holy dude, how much luck is he going to have? We got manipulate and transform. Okay. Well, that's not too bad, but manipulate will come in really handy for getting a bunch of enemy skills, which we might, we might end up doing. Dude, his luck is 158. Holy crap. He's going to be a freaking crit machine. It's like if I got something like a Mega Roll or Slash All or something like that on Kate Sif, just attack everybody. He is going to be a freaking crit monster. All right, let's see what rewards we can get here. Exchange GP for prizes. Yes, what can we get? High Potion, Ether, Holy Torch, X Potion, Gold Ticket, Bracelet. 500 GP. Dude, should I, should I take it? I'm thinking I should take it. Let's Let's take it. Wizard bracelet. What the crap? Is it good or is it bad? <laughs> Holy shit! Dude! Look at those materia slots. What? That's freaking insane! Holy crap! Dude! I'm gonna give that to Aerith, man. Look at, look at all of that, dude. Holy shit. You know what? I'm gonna give this to uh, to Red, I think. Yeah, I'll probably I'll probably give this to Red. Dude, that's so freaking good. Oh man, right, I tell you what, you know what? We're gonna take um We're gonna take time off there. And we're going to give that to Aerith with an all materia for now. Just so I can AoE haste, basically. What else can I give? Um, let's put Elemental on for shits and giggles. And what can we protect against? Um, you know what? Let's protect Aerith against ice. I don't know why. I'm just, I'm just putting ice there for the simple fact of I have an empty materia slot. Right, so let's take uh, Manipulate off Kate Sif. In fact, we'll take Transform off as well. And then I'll put Manipulate with uh, Cloud. There we go. 
Okay, dude, that's freaking amazing. That is freaking amazing. Wait, can I get another one, or is it like a random bracelet? Dude, I might, I might need to go back to the Chocobo Square and actually farm some GP here. Holy shit. What's the Holy Torch? And then I can definitely get the gold ticket as well. Yeah, that's that's gonna be. I think that's what we're gonna go for. Right, what is the holy torch though? Let's let's have a look, see. Uh, holy torch. Cast a spell. Okay, so not not that amazing then, unfortunately. Not that amazing. Right. Um. Let's do the mark house, because I think that's like a, an easy 100 GP. I can't remember how many nuts I need to, uh, I need to actually feed it though. Let me just quickly look that up. FF7, mark house. There we go. We'll just, we'll just pull that up nice and, nice and quick, basically. Alright. And it's the beginning of another day. Yada yada yada. Poor Mog man. It's alright, Mog. Don't don't worry, dude. Don't worry. We're gonna we're gonna get you laid, buddy. We're gonna get you laid, Mr. Mog. We just needs to learn how to fly. Poor Mog man. Poor Mog. Alright, so we need five nuts for the first one. Come on, Mog. You you fly away, buddy. Or at least at least attempt to fly, man. Come on. You never you're never gonna find a mate like that, man. Right, there's one. Dude, so slow. We need, we need the speed up booster here. Yeah, yeah, that's one. We need more. Two. This is definitely something we need the speed up booster for. Holy crap, man. Night three. Come on. Four. Right, one more and then he should, he should fly. Well, he won't fly after this one, but we'll have to give him three more next time. Uh. So, how do I get him to fly? Mark, are you, are you gonna fly, buddy? Uh. Have I just gotta keep throwing nuts? What the crap? Huh. Okay. Well, if if it works, then sure. Come on, Mark. Fly away, buddy. Nope. He's too heavy. He has only ever known failure. Poor Mog, man. Poor Mog. Continue. Push start. Uh, that one. Yeah, so it is. It should just be five knots. Hmm. And again, this is the second attempt, so this should be three knots. You can tell I really don't care about this minigame, because I never do it. Okay, well, he's not going to fly after three, so let's... Alright, there's five. Alright, so go go fly, Mr. Mark. Why is he not flying though? I don't What button do I need to press? I have no idea what is going on. Like for some reason it's just not like making him go fly. Maybe I've just gotta maybe I've just gotta wait or something. I I don't know. Okay, yeah, so I just I just have to wait. Well, whoopsie. At least now I know. Now I know. And there he goes. There he goes, man. I wonder if they actually fixed the uh, the 3D Battler as well. Because if you if you don't know, um, the 3D Battler is actually is actually bugged. Basically, the last one is impossible to beat. But we can get like a huge amount of um, of GP for it. So I think uh, I think I'll try that actually. Hmm. 
I'm just trying to think, like, how how do you do the battle again? I think it was just, like, normal button combinations for dodging that, right? Hmm. Alright, come on, Mark. Go, go and press your lady friend, buddy. You go and press your lady friend. Alright, so we need three nuts here. Oh, and you know what I just thought as well? I've got to get the, um, the soldier from Speed Square. Mm. I mean, that shouldn't be too bad. I wonder if I could use the Masamune blade, though. Because normally, normally in the OG, you can get a Masamune blade from the Speed Square, but it doesn't actually do anything in the OG, you know? It's just like, it's just like a useless item. Actually, no, I think, I think you can throw it. Like, I think you can use the throw command for it, but I can't quite remember that one or not. Either way, that's where, that's where we're gonna head next, so we'll give, we'll give that a try. Alright, good little Mog, good little Moggy. Alright, so Mog's got laid, he's gonna have some children. And then we're gonna go ride a roller coaster a few times, I think. Look, guys, you can't you can't go to an amusement park and just like not ride the roller coaster, okay? It just it cannot be done. It just cannot be done. Dude, I still can't get over the fact that we can do S rank chocobo races, though. That's freaking insane. That is such a quality of life change. I can't even I can't even begin to describe it. It's like, yeah, we can't get easy wins like you could do if you were if you were racing in S rank yourself. But holy crap, man. That's so freaking good. I do I do want to see if we can get multiple different bracelets though from the uh the NPC here in the arcade. Although then again, even even if you can't like, having three of those wizard bracelets, like, eight linked materia slots, all with normal growth. Dude, that's freaking insane. That would come in so goddamn handy for me. It would just be so, so helpful to have three of them. And it's only 500 GP a bracelet. Take this. Thank you, buddy. Thank you very much. Right, should I try the battler? Uh, you know what? Let's, let's do it. Let's try the battler. Hang on. Menu, switch, cancel. Uh, menu. Which one's Switch again? I can't remember which one Switch is. Uh. Right, so it's not that one. That's high. That's mid. That's mid, yeah. So that's low. Okay, we're gonna get it. We're gonna do this one. Just a shame that uh, getting past the later ones, you only have like a one percent chance. Although that's the uh, that's the final one, if I remember rightly. Okay, well we did the first one at least. Nice, nice. Okay, second one, Mr. Bikini Sumo man. We're just gonna keep going for the gut. Yeah, we'll we'll get him. We'll get him eventually, I think. Like, if I just keep rotating, we should be good, I think. Come on, man. No, dude, stop, stop! Just let me pound you, man. Let me pound you, please. Oh, he got me. No, he beat me. Never, never mind. Well, it is what he says. I don't really like the, uh, the battler anyway, to be honest. Seems to be out of order. Yeah, well, we can't do the submarine or anything just yet. Uh, you know what I haven't done though? I haven't used the uh, the claw machine. Uh, wait, no, I have to use the one in the other room, don't I? Let's go. Let's go try the claw machine and see see what we can get from that. Maybe maybe we'll get something good. Uh, okay, I guess this one. There we go. One hundred gil. Try it. Let's let's see what we can get. Come on, give me give me something good, man. High potion. Eh, not not amazing. Uh. Slam dunk. I wonder if they've changed the uh, the rewards here. Let's just see if they have. Uh, 
Come on, man. I really hope the rewards have been upgraded here. If the rewards have been upgraded, that's going to be freaking amazing for sure. Nope. Damn. I messed up. I messed up, man. Free GP. No, the rewards are still the same. If you don't know, Slam Dunk is actually one of the easiest ways to get GP on the OG. Especially once you uh, once you get into, you know, the groove and that. You can, you can make a lot of points on that. Because if you get 10 in a row, you get 300 GP. And you can just keep on and on and on farming that, basically. Right. Um... Uh, you know what? Let's go. Let's go look at the rewards for the battle square. Yeah, let's let's go look at the rewards for the battle square because I don't think this is gonna force us. Oh, it is gonna force us. Please don't automatically run up there. I don't know. I w I just wanted to look around the battle square, man. Oh, there's a save point here though. No, no, no! Don't run it! God damn it! Dude, no, son of a. So we're gonna be we're gonna be forced to do the whole North Corral thing, unfortunately. God damn it! I did not want that to happen. I did not want that to happen. I really wanted to do like the speed square in that first. It can't be. Yeah, it was a man with a gun arm. It, it's totally not Barrett though. We we swear it's not Barrett. Did you guys do this? No. Do you do you see a gun anywhere? Like I don't I don't have a gun, man. You should you should honestly realize that. Oh man, I can't believe we're gonna be forced down the bottom now. That that sucks, man. That sucks. Oh, dude, I really, I really wanted to do the speed square in that first to get the umbrella for Aerith and see, uh, see if that's been changed. Now we've got to go down and do all this bit first. God damn it. I mean, it's not the end of the world because we can, we can do it sort of, you know, sort of quickly, but it's just, it's a, it's a, it's an annoyance, really, you know, it's an annoyance. A desert prison! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if they added the debug enemy actually into that uh, into that area again. If you don't know in the Japanese version, you see where that ladder is there? If you go down that ladder, you can actually fight a, uh, a test enemy and it gives like 50,000 gil, 50,000 AP and all that. Like it's stupidly broken, but it's just because the devs use that to test like, you know, fights, material leveling, leveling itself, etc. Um, and they forgot to remove it from that version, but unfortunately, they remembered to remove it in the uh, in the English version. Sadly, let's go see if there's any items down here, though. Oh, there is actually a treasure chest. Oh wait, no, this is the wrong area. I think still empty. You motherfucker! God damn it, we got trolled. We officially got trolled, dude. I cannot believe that. Really. God damn it. God damn it. This one's being shot too. Yeah, everybody's getting shot, man. Right, let's take um, enemy away off. Um, we'll just put transform on, I guess, for now. Let's uh, let's do a couple of battles here and see what we can fight. Go away, you dirty little pervert. Following me around here. Right, let's see what we can do. Although I can't... Oh, I don't have fire steel, do I, here? God damn it. Right. Oh, yeah, Kate Seth doesn't have anything. Whoops. Uh, let's just steal. Couldn't steal anything. God damn it, I need... Oh, shit, I just stole from Cloud. Did not... Wait, why are they healing me? Sorry, Cloud! <laughs> oh, man, I can't believe I got Aerith to steal there. Stole High Potion. Eh, not really, not really worthwhile then, I guess. Let's just use Metro Magic and do some, uh, do some attacks. Might as well just murder them, aren't we, really? I wonder what we're going to get drop-wise. Oh, Meteor Rain doesn't heal Cloud with a Drain HP effect. That's a shame. I was really hoping that would actually heal him, because then that would come in so freaking handy, man. I'll tell you one thing, Rickett may be rough in here, but the desert out there is much more dangerous. Yeah, we know, man. The desert's, uh, the desert's pretty nasty, to be fair. There's, there's a lot of nasty stuff in the desert, man. 
Uh, wait, no, that one's four, so we need to go to C4. Right, is there anything, uh, is there anything around here? Like any items or anything? Doesn't look like that is though. Either that or I am ridiculously blind and I've just missed something totally obvious. But I can't, I can't really see anything. Oh, there's a thief. I wonder what we can get from them. Uh, right, let's steal from the bandit and... Stole a soft. Okay, not really worth it. Oh yeah, Aqualung. Let's give that a try. See how much damage we do with that. Let's see, is it good or... 700. Okay, that's that's pretty good. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. We, we can take that for sure. And then, of course, we can just restore her MP with a normal attack. Right, let's go say hi to Barrett. Any items in here? No, it doesn't, doesn't look like it, unfortunately. That's a shame. I tell you not to come here. Yeah, but why would I listen to you, man? You know, it's kind of impressive. He like he's sh he's clearly shooting at air up there, whereas the guy behind the couch is more to the side. Didn't want none of you to get involved. Oh, while well, we're already involved, buddy. So too freaking bad. Yeah, that's surface line. Right, come on, let me let me take Kate Sif out and put Red in the party, please. I need I need my stealer, man. I need my poggers, thief, bro. Oh, you know what I was just thinking? You know what I was saying about getting sneak attack and that? And then using that with Red to steal? If I equip him with that bracelet, I could just put all the fire abilities on there. If I could get something like MP Absorb as well. Dude, we could turn, we could turn Red into a freaking monster. Oh, I could do that with summons as well. Like, rather, rather than using fire, I could do it with summons, like Bahamut. Like, added steel. Um, HP absorb, MP absorb. Dude, that could be... That could be a good way, you know, with sneak attack and that would automatically start the fight off with it as well. Oh, wait, no, we can only we can only get one Bahamut materia, so that, that wouldn't work, unfortunately. Shit. Okay, so we can't, we can't do anything like that, unfortunately. So it would have to be, you know, magic or, like, slash all or something like that. I mean, we can still, we can still do magic, yeah. We would realistically need, though, a non-elemental spell. That'd be, that'd be the best way, I think. Oh, poor Barrett, man. He got shot in his jerk offhand. It's, it's okay, Barrett. It's okay, buddy. You couldn't use your right arm anymore. It's alright, dude. Have you, have you ever heard of the stranger? <laughs> oh, I'm so childish at times, aren't I? You know what, I wonder if we can inspect that dead guy and get something from him. We probably can't, but it's worth, worth a try, I think. Although, you know what, I need to I need to put Barrett in the party so I can equip him. Because Barrett's gonna, Barrett's gonna have the solo fight against Dying Inti. So we're gonna need Steel and Morph on him, at a minimum. We're gonna need buffs and all that. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have to do that. Right, um... First things first. You know what? I'm gonna remove all materia. Yeah, let's just remove everything. Exchange. Let's take everything off red as well. Right. Uh, let's see. Unit. Let's take the wizard bracelet off. I want that on Barrett for sure. So, wizard bracelet. What gun can we use? I mean, w machine gun is double, and it will attack all. Um, hmm, Spirit and crit, Dax. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go Dax. Uh, right. What have we got here? Block hero and petrify could be good. See, I wouldn't mind that, but it's auto berserk, which would do us pretty bad. Let's go look forty. More, more crit chance then. Right. Okay. Arrange the materials. So. We need, we need steel. We definitely need steel. Um, so let's throw steel on double. 
Uh, what else do we need? What else do we need? Um, I'll throw enemy skill on, although that can go down here. Um, hmm. We are going to need haste, and I am going to need a heal. Okay, so we got we got them. Barrier and destruct would come in handy. What else do I need? Uh, Isuna for statuses, just because I have no idea what he's going to do to me. Uh, I want the elements. I definitely want the elements on there. Because I have no idea what he's actually going to be weak to. Uh, what else is there? Mm, oh yeah, I need, I need more. Okay, well, that sort of, that sort of does us. So, let's just put enemy away on cloud for now. Yeah, we'll we'll leave it we'll leave it like that and then we'll redo it all after. Okay, well I can't get to him unfortunately. Or can I go around this side? I can go around that side. But I can't talk to him. God damn it. Worth a try. Worth a try. Alright, what do we got here? Uh, it doesn't look like there's any items in here, unfortunately. You gotta buy something, that's the rule. Uh, no, you've you've got nothing worth buying, dude. Sorry. Okay, so he's got nothing worth buying. Hmm. Right, in that case, let's let's go save and then we'll go fight Dine, I guess. Yeah. We got it, man. We're gonna we're gonna crush him. Don't don't worry, guys. We're gonna absolutely murder Dine. No problem. Right after I save. Uh, actually, do I need to heal Barrett? I think I do, right? No, he's fine. Yeah, we, we don't need to heal Barrett there, for sure. He'll he'll be fine. But though, everybody, I'm afraid to say we're going to be ending this one here now. So if you want to see the conclusion against dying, you've got to tune in tomorrow. So though, everybody, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, then please be sure to smash that like button and leave a comment down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, then make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more content. As always, though, everybody, thank you for watching and I will see you soon.